We're going to make a buzzer for your flight controller. A no solder buzzer. We're going to take this basic buzzer that will connect to your pins and we're going to be using our leftover cable from our flight controller. This is going to be an easy no solder buzzer for the first time builder. To make this cable we're going to be using our diagonal cutters but not the cut wire and we're going to be using our hobby knife. We need two servos and two ends. Let's start by removing this pin next to it just so we can make a better cut. And pull this blue wire out. Now we have a nice little gap there. I'm going to take wire cutters and I'm going to cut this right there. I'm going to put it in the hole and give it a snip. And we're going to try and break this apart. Almost. Perfect. We still have a bit of a rough edge, so I'll just clean it up a little bit. Okay, we now have a two pin connector and a two pin end. I want to use my hobby files just because I'm anal and want to clean this up a little bit. Totally unnecessary, but it makes me happy. There we go. Now it's perfect. And that step was completely unnecessary. We now have a wire with two pins on two sides. Here's how you make your buzzer. Take your buzzer, take the two small ends, and slide them on the pins. To make sure the wires stay on the buzzer, I use my glue gun. Just apply a generous amount of glue around the connections. And that should hold really well. If we need to change anything, it's not a problem. I need to give you some very important information about your buzzer. It has a polarity. It will only work when the electricity flows in one direction. You have a two plug servo and two pins there. If you plug it in and the buzzer does not buzz, you probably have the polarity reversed. And all you need to do is unplug it, spin it, and plug it back in. Then it should work. It's important to know that your buzzer has a polarity. The long leg is positive and the short leg is ground. If I take this little servo connector that I've made, and plug it in, red on positive and black on negative, and take my battery, just a double A battery, press the ground to the bottom and the positive to the top, and we have a beep. Wonderful. But if I were to reverse the polarity accidentally, as you may on your quadcopter, and now I'm going to connect it ground and positive to positive and positive to ground, nothing happens. Again, if I put it back, positive on positive, ground on ground, we have a wonderful sound. If your buzzer fails to sound when plugged in this way, all you need to do is flip your servo pin around and plug it in the other way problem solved. And this is why I like using pins for the first time drone builder.